company's been in business for over 50 years and um, we were uh, for many of those years we were a component part manufacturer so we made individual component parts um, we transitioned into making uh, what we would call value-added a fully assembled product and that's really what's given us our special niche in the in the marketplace and has, has allowed us to accelerate our growth um, you know in the past four years five years um, nearly almost doubling our growth um, in the drug development world Getting your product to the market, you know, can literally make it make or break a lot of companies. Yeah, so we actually want to accelerate the drug development process um, by doing things faster, more efficiently um, for our clients, so that you know, instead of it taking a year and a half or two years for maybe the work that we're doing, um, you know, if we can get it down to a year, a year and a half, obviously a few months can make a big difference. Well, I think it's. We really try to understand our clients' business because if we understand their business and their business drivers and, and at least the major parts of their strategic plan, we can design whatever building or space we're doing to support the work that's going on there. So that's our real key goal. And then we really service them. We make sure we're doing what they need and we sort of pride ourselves on designing in their image and not ours, which is a difficult thing for a design firm to do. They tend to want to design for themselves and we work really hard at not doing that. USA Tank was, when it was first formed in the 70s, it was just a construction company that uh, constructed the tanks for a supplier. Um, we then, uh, our owner, uh, Brian, uh, kind of turned that around and made us into more of a sales focused company, customer service focused company. Um, and that kind of opened the gate for us to then start doing other things, looking at other markets. Um, you know, instead of focusing on a small territory, we started focusing on the entire United States, uh, quite a bit of North America, and then we're doing some exporting now too. Uh, I married a dog groomer, and she had a successful little shop called Groomingdale's down in South St. Louis. And the number one complaint of pet ownership was was the shedding. People would come in and say, oh, can you do anything about the shedding? There's hair everywhere, I can't handle it. And so she would try all these different tools and brushes and combs and rakes to try to alleviate some of that problem. So one night she was, we were up brainstorming and she said, I've got, I found these clipper blades. I've been taking my clipper blades apart and, and going through the coat and it really gets the, the hair out but it's killing my wrist. So after some brainstorming, we thought, well, heck, let's put a handle on it and let's try to make a, a product. So we were starting to get into some, you know, some veterinarian and, and into some catalogs and things and then we got our break on, on QVC and it quickly became the, the hottest selling product in the history of QVC. 1990 when we got started it was myself and at that time it was a partner so there was just two of us okay. um, and my, I purchased my partner share out back in 1994 and since then we've grown to the, today we have right over a hundred team members um, on the team and we have 14 locations throughout Missouri and 12 different communities that we served in those 14 locations. That company, which was called the Wyro Corporation of America, got into a great deal of difficulty and went bankrupt about seven years ago. Uh, the bankruptcy started a restructuring and the company really retrenched. Uh, we got rid of some businesses that didn't make any sense for us, made the company effectively smaller, and then started a monstrous growth phase from uh, uh, late 2002, early 2003 to today, where the company today is, oh, five times larger than it was in 2002. We believe at Bank of America that education is a right and not a privilege. And as you know, all, all parents want the same thing for their child, and that's a good education. And we believe that it's not just the parents' responsibility to provide that. We believe that every one of us is our brother's and sister's keeper, and certainly at Bank of America we try to do that. Um, we believe that education can stop the cycle of violence, it can help prevent drug abuse, um, it can also do so much to empower high potential children into becoming great, strong leaders. We've supported education for as long as I can remember because we truly believe that it raises the bar for all of us. What I've 
I've always said that whether it be in your work life or in any of your volunteer work, that you really need to just celebrate the, the even the little successes along the way. And with the chamber, there are so many reasons to celebrate so many things just because you see so many positive things going on. And we've had some big things this year, which has made it a really exciting year. I mean, we started off the year with our four-star accreditation from the U.S. Chamber, and then to kind of end the year uh, with the Missouri Chamber of the Year Award, uh, truly an exciting time for us.